everybody welcome back to the stream i'm back with a brand new title we are going to be playing through uh, semi new i think it came out um the first week of this month uh the casting of frank stone which is connected to my favorite uh multiplayer game that i play all the time <laughs> with my friends dead by daylight all i know that's all i know about this game it's connected to dead by daylight and it's like um the quarry and, and um wow i just lost the, the 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 ones where you have to make choice it's basically like an interactive movie and you have to make choices and you kind of move around sometimes yeah hi microphone oh and thank you so much for resubscribing 53 months in a row that is amazing and uh Hey, Jason. Hey, Emily. <laughs> yeah, like until dawn. Um, I was trying to think of the um, dark. Oh, is it dark pictures? Is that the? Hold on. I, I'm always forgetting what the games are called. Uh, let me try. Is it dark pictures? Dark. Yeah, the dark pictures anthology. Those games. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So expect me to probably fuck up. I did, ch I did put on, though, um, the hole to complete the button mash because, yeah, I just, I don't feel like button mashing. But I'm leaving, like, the timer on and stuff like that just to give myself a little bit of a break. But, yeah, I did play uh, a couple days ago. I, I read on Steam that people were having some combative compatibility issues with their PCs so I was like oh shit I should check to make sure it actually runs okay on my PC and so last week I did play about like the, the first 15-20 minutes I basically we're gonna get to this point but basically when you get when they get to a grate to go underground that's where I stopped so um, I'm gonna try to do the same choices I did in, in that first 15 minute playthrough uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get started. Let me know if I need to adjust any sounds or anything because I notice depending on the game I'm playing, some of the sounds are like too low or too high. So just let me know. Uh, die alone. Oh, we're all going to die alone. Uh, so we're going to do a new game. Yeah. And... So I'm not sure if, like, this Frank Stone is maybe going to be a new killer in Dead by Daylight or something. I'm excited to see if maybe the entity shows up. Maybe some, like, characters from Dead by Daylight. <laughs> uh, I've sacrificed everything searching for it. I do know this background music. Whispered to me centuries ago of a timeless power, infinite in knowledge, voracious in hunger, the entity, a realm so close to ours but always out of reach until I found him, Frank Stone. My key, my killer. I am Augustine Lieber, and I'm about to change our worlds forever. Okay, spoiler. <laughs> Hi, Clubsy Gamer. How into getting every iteration of each scene are you trying for? I, I don't know what? I don't understand your question, Jason. <laughs> I just want everyone to survive. That is my main goal when I play these games. Like, replaying them is not very fun because you can't skip any cutscenes. You have to just sit through tons of dialogue. Have you played this one, Klutzy? Yeah, a lot of, a lot of people in my, um, on Twitter and then on Discord were like, please play this one. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Even though these games aren't really my favorite because it's kind of just watching a movie and you guys can see me fuck up so much. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> oh yeah, I watched Jeremy play through a bunch of late game iterations over the weekend. Ah. You, you killed everyone unintentionally? Oh, I hope I don't. 
at least like I hope if I do kill people it's because I want to you know <laughs> but usually I want I want to make sure everyone lives or, and any animals too if, if we have a pet dog or cat or something that's gonna live so I, I assume Jeremy I guess finished the game is it very long I thought it was like at least like 10 20 hours <clears throat> We're in a uh, dog vision. <laughs> the Burning Maw, nineteen sixty three. So I think this takes place in like three separate time uh, periods. Okay, well, me and Wills, if it's worth it for me to redo stuff to get like different endings, I'll, of course I'll do that. <clears throat> hmm. Police, open up. I'm assuming you're the night watch. Oh wait, hold on a second. I gotta make sure I turned off. Um. Okay, I did mute copyright music. Okay, I, I saw that was an option. I'm like, oh shit, yeah. <laughs> okay. I am. Or just you, covering the entire site. Oh no. I won't be able to collect everything help. in one playthrough. Oh, Where okay. On duty? Of a manor. Merlin just goes where he pleases. Merlin. A dog. Doberman Pincher. Best friend a fellow could ask for. Loyal to the seventh horn sounds. Trust him more than I trust myself. Uh. Serious or concerned? Uh. I don't remember what I put. Um. I'm gonna be serious. I need to ask you a few questions. I'm yours to dispose of. Can I have your name? Thomas Jefferson Holt. It did? Oh. Tom. Well. Officer Sam Green. Tom, I wanna talk to you that's about. That's annoying. I know what about that missing boy, right? That's right. You think he could be missing here? This mill looks a big place. Biggest in all Cedar okay. Hills. That don't make no difference. Ain't no funny business going on around here. Not undermining Merlin's noses. Sounds like a lot of ground to cover. Can I check your records? Let's be curious. Let's be curious and not judgmental like uh, Ted Lasso likes to say. You sound confident. And rightly so. It's because of the Dead by Daily the theme. Seriously? No records. The logbook, visitors to the mill, out of our shifts, that sort of thing. That's right, messed wait. up. Uh, well, gotta be here someplace. Is that it? Um, it's okay. Allow me. Discovery. I see. Ooh, someone's drinking on the job. Um... Let's be questioning. I don't. I want to be kind of friendly to the. Have dude. you noticed anything suspicious around the mill tonight? Tonight, last few nights, anything at all? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. Hmm. Why, well, heck? If you don't believe me, ask your boss. My boss, Sheriff Kusich. Right. My boss. He saw by last night asking about the exact same thing. And I told him the same thing I'm telling you. There's no way that boy could be here and Merlin and me not know about it. And what did the sheriff say? Okay, Tom. And he got back in his car and left. Huh. 
That's all the sheriff said, so nobody's actually checked them, though. No way that a sheriff would not and check. And that's all the sheriff said to you? Okay, Tom? Well, that ain't quite how he put it. What he actually said was, okay, Lumpkin. Lumpkin? Yeah, Lumpkin. Been calling me that ever since some business back in 54 when I saw one of them UFOs. Oh. <laughs> Turned out to be a blimp gone towards Morin. Easy mistake to make, right? Sure. But that's when he started with the Lumpkin. A long time, I, I never even knew what it meant. Till one of them nice people in the library looked it up for me. You got any idea what it means? I can take a guess. Lumpkin is an idiot! The sheriff of this town, my town, been calling me an idiot to my face for ten damn years! Yikes. You know what I think, Sam? I'm sure you're gonna tell me. Lord Kusich is a disgrace to his badge and his office. The folks of Cedar Hills deserve themselves a better class of sheriff. One who takes their interests to heart. Does that sound like too much to ask? Not to me. Right. <laughs> hey. I'll bet you're ten times the cop that Kusich is. Thank you. In that case, you won't object for me to take a look around. I welcome it, Sam. You show that high-handed bastard just how real police work is done. I will. Thank you for your help, Tom. Happy to oblige. All right. <clears throat> Lure them in. Yeah, I saw Jasmine. I answered you. <laughs> Run again. Oh, just run. All right. Collectible trinkets. I wonder if they're going to have us work on gens in this game. <laughs> Chess piece? What? <laughs> Maybe I'll find some boons. <laughs> Hell yeah, I hope I hope and I hope if they do, they'll just kick them over instead of spending like a minute carefully taking the bones apart. <laughs> Was that the only uh, trinket? I guess so. I bet I'll have to go in a locker too. <laughs> and then we'll point at it and go, oh my god, it's the locker! Okay, it's not 
allowing me to do the the search thing again. So I guess that that was it for this area. All right. Uh, we need a way in. This is locked. Oh, there's a window. An open window. I can get in through there. Thank you, yellow piece of cloth. <laughs> I would have never been <laughs> able to tell. <laughs> You're sure if you kick a totem a curse is out? Probably. Safety involves teamwork. Okay, I better, I better see teamwork makes the dream work at some point. Huh. Easy does it. Okay, it's no. Let me just make sure there's nothing over here. Controller being this way. Oh my god. Sorry guys. Let me switch my uh my port. That or I had to use my mouse and keyboard. Turn. Huh? Employees personnel record February fourth. Preferred name something. Uh, current position machinist. Address criminal record one charge assault robbery. Dr. Lieber. Oh, it's, isn't that the lady in the beginning? Oh. Friday the 13th. Afternoon shift, I assume. Harold, Dennis, Bobby. Oh, Frank Stone! There's our killer! In Graveyard is nobody. Move Do Dawkins and Stone off Graveyard to pick up slack. No use running three crews with half the manpower. Some fella's gonna have to double up shifts. Told the Lumpkin out front, no one's working nights for a while, Hux. Damn, it's not just the sheriff calling him that. Okay, I guess, is that it? Can I 
I go? Nope. Okay. Oh! Oh, I already picked that up. Maybe I have to like reinstall some of my, like, my controller driver or something. I don't know, because I got a new cord for it. And I do, nope. Hello? Anyone here? Any Police. any missing children? Crouch, I don't know what button it is. <laughs> Do they though, Jason? Okay, I can open that door. Alright. Can I go in this train thing? Can I climb this? Uh, I guess not. Alright. It sounds like an animal to me. Doesn't sound friendly either. <laughs> Maybe that's Merlin. You found something tasty. Let me see what it is. Nope. Oh, I guess we have to go check it out on foot. Ugh, smells like death. Yeah, we should continue forward. Okay, I can't tell if... That's Officer Green. Sure. You haven't seen Merlin, have you? Well, I hear something no. eating something Sorry. around the corner. Uh, you all right there? Uh, yeah, it's just... Jesus, you don't smell that? <sighs> Sniffer's out of commission. <sighs> Got a little too up close and personal with a can of mustard gas back in the trenches. Ah. <laughs> uh. It can be a blessing in disguise. Ugh. Gotta find out where it's coming from. What's it smell like? Death, probably. Nothing good. I hope it's not the kid. <laughs> that would be horrible to find. Merlin would have to be put down. Oh, hello. You're gonna follow me? All right. I guess we're teaming up. Oh, 
Is that Merlin? There you are, boy. We wondered where you got to. Uh, Merlin doesn't seem to like you anymore. <laughs> Bye, Merlin. Come here, boy. Dig name it. <sighs> sure to like it if you two made proper acquaintance. <sighs> God damn it. I would not get that close. Ew! Ugh. Ew! Without any gloves! Oh god! Oh god! That's so gross! Oh my god, I can't believe he's touching it! You put this out for him? No. It looks like someone else has found his way to your boy's heart. Through his stomach. Ugh! It ain't possible. Merlin and me, we're a team. Who'd want to come between a man and his best friend? The entity. The uh, entity would. What's that? Some kind of wiener mate? <laughs> oh, it's it's human. Great. Uh, is this your missing kid? <laughs> Will you look at that? That damn dog. Think that belongs to the boy you're looking for? No, it's probably too old looking. <sighs> Dismissive, there's more proof that it does and settled. Game from someone else. Um let's be friendly to the lumpkin. Nah. Came from someone much older. A teenager maybe. Jesus married a milkmaid. Hey, you know about any other folks going missing in Cedar Hills lately? Well, I don't know. Who would know a thing like that? Well, somebody does. Yeah. I can't believe you touched it with your bare hands, dude. Um. Is there a gen I can work on? Do One thing I don't like about these, these games is the controls to move around are often really awkward. Like it feels like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it, it's very persnickety if you're not moving the correct, it, sluggish. It's like kind of sluggish with my uh, movements on my controller, I don't know. Like it feels it feels like there's a force moving against me when I'm moving the, moving the character across the screen. Um probably not, but I was like hoping maybe you'd have um like driving gloves. Wasn't driving gloves like a big thing back then? Oh, is that the 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 chess piece I found earlier? So I guess this is uh, the collectibles for the game. So we're looking for like a horse, a potato, sword, a hammer, statue, um, a rock. I don't know. Okay. That looks like a, the one on the bottom, second one on the bottom, kind of looks like something you see in front of a supermarket. One of those like rocking horse things that are... Uh, motorized. Um. Oh wait. Oh yeah. There's no uh, no chest. All right. Let's go forward, Lumpkin. What was that sound? Yeah. Stay behind me. Can I open this. I think this is where I ended my uh, test. Yeah, this is where the grade is. So, what is this thing? The grate? Yeah, what is it for? <laughs> it's a... Uh... 
for the furnace, I think. You don't know for sure? Yeah, I work at the mill, not in the mill. Hmm. Well, your security, shouldn't you, like, kind of know the layouts? That's what I need. Oh, I could probably climb that. <sighs> I'm old and drunk and just try to keep the kids out. True. I mean, but it seems like you failed at that job too if there's a missing kid here. <laughs> gotcha. Awesome, is this a weapon for me to use too? I hope so. <gasps> I know that sound. <laughs> uh, cheap views? No, thank you. Okay. Okay, we got a crowbar. Let me double check. Uh, hold, okay. Stand back. Nice. Oh. Damn, that's heavy. Good job, Sam. That's his name, right? Hmm. Yeah. All right. Take this. Use the radio in my car and call the station. Where, where are you going? You really think that boy's down there? I don't know, but I got a feeling, and it's not a good feeling. Shouldn't you call back up then? I'm gonna need you to take this too. Take this bloody ear. Make sure the sheriff gets this. <laughs> Boy, I don't know. Hey, Jack. Uh, let's be supportive. I need your help here, Tom. I wouldn't ask if I didn't. I just don't know if I'm made of the stuff, buddy. They don't call it a higher calling for nothing. You gotta rise to meet it. Yeah, it's one of those games. This. Pick a bunch of dialogue options and move around sometimes. Hey. Yeah. I can do this. I believe in you, Tom. Hey, I'm counting on you, Tom Hope. Um, so far it's okay. I mean, we I just got started. Uh, we're looking for a, a missing child in a, a steel mill for some reason. And it's 1963. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why he didn't just go back for his radio. I mean, it's not like there was a chase happening or anything. Oh. Get a call for backup. But maybe he wants all the glory. Oh, did you lose your hat? He did. Uh, find a way to the furnace chamber. Only problem about these games is sometimes it's really hard to know what I can interact with at a distance. Oh. 
Ooh, there's something in there. Is there anything over there? Okay. This kind of feels like cheating though. Okay. I keep trying to run by pushing my, my left stick and that's not, <laughs> that's not what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, we found a horsey. Okay. I know what it is to believe oh, never mind. Cop vision. He has he has um psychic detective abilities like a certain FBI agent, we all know. Hear that, Zach? Okay. So we're main thing is looking for for a furnace, right? Wait, what does this say? Okay, furnace is over there. So let's go back and check to make sure Damn. there wasn't. It's a maze down here. Oh, it must have just been the music. I thought I heard footsteps. So we can go. That's where I found the trinket. Okay, there's some stairs. Is this where I... Oh. That's everything. So let's go ahead to the furnace. <sighs> so. Oh. Damn it. Aw. Your hat's all you. I mean, but honestly, dude, you touched some really gross stuff. this break huh. all right so furnace is down that way but I just want to check to make sure there's no goodies okay wait what was that look Someone's engaged in strange rituals in the hidden areas of the mill. What? How? Wh wh what are you getting that from? This weird torch? Uh, okay. I didn't... I just assumed that was how they lit the place up. Am I not seeing some weird symbol? Yeah, but still gross. <laughs> I was saying he should have used like his driver gloves or something if he had them. <laughs> There's a door. Oh. Okay. Not really much to explore. Oh. Uh, did I... has got to be it. <sighs> um... A locket? Alright, cool. I guess I just really need to look for the white outline on things. Oh, it's the rain. Okay. That I think that's what I was hearing earlier. Oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> Never forget the first man to link hand washing and mother surviving childbirth were put in an asylum. Yeah, those that's talking crazy. That's witchcraft. What do you mean? 
Maybe he saw the seal of Megatron and it disappeared immediately afterward. Maybe. I mean, I was kind of looking in the wrong direction, so he might have seen something, but... But not me. I'm still, I'm still kind of just looking around to see if I could see any weird gold stuff. It looks like a rib cage. Uh, this place turns my stomach. We should have waited for backup. Oh, crawl. Climb. Oh! <gasps> Just get weirder and weirder down <laughs> we know this dude. Hello, Billy. That's cute. Okay. Nice. We found a secret. Okay. Yuck. Goddamn small spaces. Uh, something tells me you're gonna get caught in a small space. And I'm gonna have to make a decision. And I'll probably get you killed. Any white mine stuff? Nope. Oh, is that part of his mask from the cover? Okay. Fine, Nemi. I don't think any of the licensed killers will be in here, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'd be looking for Pyramid Head. <laughs> To succeed. Oh no! Skill checks in the game. All right. Cross, the, cross fingers that I don't fuck this up. Oh, wait. Oh, I have to I guess move forward and do a skill check. Can I redo it? Let me see. It probably goes, no, fuck, you messed up. Ah, Dang it! Shit. Mm. Yeah, killer's alerted. I just it. Where's the pallet? Uh, there's a ladder. Okay, I can climb that. Man, I hope he doesn't die of an infection. Lord, this is hellish. Oh, I hear a baby. Fuck. Crip. Shit. I don't think anything's in it, though. Um. Killer alert. Killer alert. Get ready. Um. Ramp or ladder? Wh which was he closer to? 
He was like right above, right? So would it be safer to go up the ramp? What do you guys think? Should I do the ramp or the ladder? I go up the ramp, free up gun hand. Where I don't know where the ladder is. But yeah, I mean, I already fucked up his hand. Yeah, the ladder did not go so well last time. Okay, so we're all for ramp then? I gotta figure out how to do poles in this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do ramp. If he dies, I'm going to be sad. <laughs> I don't want Sam to die. Fuck! I wasn't- I wasn't ready! <laughs> I, was, I was looking at chat! And I panicked! Oh, I'm going to get Sam killed! <laughs> yeah, skill issue. It's happening. Told you, I suck at these games. Give me a skill check! I'm ready now! Where's my skill check? Use R to aim, press RT on target. Wait, what? Oh, here? Don't let the baby go into the fire! Don't go into the fire, Sam! Please don't die! Oh! Is that a hook? <laughs> oh man, Sam, I'm so sorry. I failed you. Oh wait, he's still alive. It's skill issue on my part. I fucked up those skill check. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh. <sighs> He's only on first tick. <laughs> We gotta save the baby! Get up, Sam! Please don't make me do a skill check, I'm not ready. <laughs> Exertion! Bye! Okay, now, now we got to, we got to, we got to get to the baby. Not the mama. Oh, yuck, 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 yuck. Well, he's not coming back. Sleep tight, motherfucker. <laughs> well, that lady's still here. She could still take the baby. Yeah, he's not coming back to life or anything, right? Ooh, it's the entity. 
Okay, I'm a savior. Okay, so I guess I didn't fuck up too badly. Six out of ten. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We didn't fuck up too bad. That's what I'm saying right now. <clears throat> Wait, I do have a question though. Um, I just want to check. When you complete uh, a chapter, can we go back? Um, okay. Who are used? Mostly trapped. Man, I really sucked. Look, only 26% of the people fucked that up. So... Oh! I missed... something in the middle. Okay, so is there a way to... I can't lo load a game. Okay, I guess maybe I'm not done with a chapter yet. Because I remember like, in previous games, you could reload a chapter. Okay. <clears throat> I was wondering maybe if I could just redo it and not, um... It's okay. Not fuck up his it's hand okay. and stuff. <sighs> okay. That's weird. Oh, I can't run. All right. None of this is right. Oh no, we're in Silent Hill now. Uh oh. That's not good. Now we're on the ceiling? Actually, I wonder if anything happens if we try to go back. I just want to see. Nothing. Oh wait, there's a new there's a newspaper. What does that say? Mayor promises radical new change. Oh, okay. Is that the same in this room too? Or maybe it was a mistake to go back. Okay, yeah, that's the same. Alright. I was thinking like maybe the newspaper might change in the more decrepit room, like how the photo did, to like more creepy headline or something. All right.
Uh oh, why is there a red glow on us? Is it a killer? It's a killer on. Oh! Scratch marks! She must have that Nancy perk on. Oh, you tried looking up when the load game unlocks, and the only real hit is a deleted Reddit thread. Oh. I'm sure I'll probably reach it at some point. Ah, oh, shit, we're going against Sadako. You gotta find videotapes! Okay, there's a TV. Just wanna make sure I can't, like, walk by and... I'm just worrying that it unlocks after your first oh, but you know what? I bet it does. It's not a big deal. Mom? What's wrong? Is your face gonna be all scratched up? <laughs> Damn, entity! <laughs> Do this, Maddie. Just I was waiting for O death. <laughs> Let's, uh, stop. Uh, hi! <clears throat> so, uh, you need a lift? Reynolds got a flat. Oh, you're American! Yeah. So am I. Okay. Yeah. So, do you mind giving me a lift? Right, sure, of course. You can drop me off at Garrett Manor. It's just a few miles up the road. Huh, weird. That's actually where I'm going, too. So it's not out of your way? Uh, guess not. Man, why are you being so, like, curt with me? I'm just trying to help. <sighs> Maybe I should just left your butt there. So, 
we're both going to the same place, huh? What are the odds of that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess it's not all that odd, seeing as, you know, we're already pretty close, and I don't think this road goes anywhere else. So, did you say you were going to Garrett Manor for business, or...? I did not. Oh. So, um... Where are you from? From? Like, where do you live? Paris. That's where I'm from, currently. Before that, I was from Amsterdam, Dublin, Milan, Los Angeles, and Oregon. Once upon a time. That's cool. Hey, my mom's from Oregon. Well, one of them is. I always heard it was really nice. Or kind of a shithole, but like a really nice kind of shithole. I mean, I wouldn't know anyway because I've never been. I'm a big Apple girl, born and raised. Barely even made it north of 14th Street before going off to college. Here in England? Uh, no, Berlin, actually. Oh, I'm Maddie, by the way. Linda. It's nice to meet you, Maddie. Yeah, you too. Even if I was worried you might try to clonk me. Ah, uh, sorry. Hmm. Okay, so what do you do for a living that takes you all over the place? I'm a filmmaker. I travel a lot for film shoots and festivals and all the other usual Hollywood bullshit. Oh, wow. I heard that's a real tough kind of job to get. Easy to get. Hard to keep. <laughs> Had to bury a few bodies, huh? <laughs> well... Whoa, what happened to your hair, hair Linda? Hard. What the <laughs> I'd be kidding myself if I didn't also acknowledge there isn't a certain amount of dumb luck to it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, the scene you is kind of ruined now. Oops. Film well, you'd be surprised. Uh, I never would have guessed this is what I'd end up doing with my life. <laughs> your hair is kind of going all over the place. It definitely seems like the kind of thing you just end up doing. <sighs> Linda's grateful we pulled- Yay, we won her over! Hey. Take a look. I think we've come to the end of the rainbow. Yeah, it would have been really awkward to get there, and then she's like hoofing it to the manor, but like, why don't you stop, bitch? <laughs> the house of darkness! This place is definitely a little too, uh... On the nose? I was gonna say a little Amber. too much like a horror movie. Exactly. So, um, do we just knock, or...? I'm not sure. Oh, I... doorbell. Don't you have luggage? Maybe nobody's home. This is definitely when I was told to get here. Mm, me too. Hello? Anybody home? It's a good rule of thumb to try every door. No, oh, you think? Well, they're expecting us, aren't they? No way is it. Do we just go in? Why are you asking me? Because you're a grown-up. So are you, Maddie. <sighs> then, uh, here we go. Apparently... Why are all the lights off? Beats me.
You could take Hello? out take out your phone and use that to light stuff. Let's take a look around. Oh, there's candles. Um Hello? We've arrived. Oh, we're looking for the bad guy. At least I think that's the bad guy's name. Oh. My collection. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? <sighs> Did I run yet? Okay. Uh, interesting portrait. Damn, she's like just booking it. So, not this way then. This seems a bit more lively. Okay, I think it might want me to go in there. Let's check upstairs. This is kind of like the Resident Evil uh, mansion. A little bit. Yes. Digging these creepy cottage core vibes. <laughs> hmm. Is what's her name gonna follow me? Okay. There's a piano I can mess with. Dead plants. Fire. Bruno Stanford Esquire, business connoisseur. Behind all good ideas is a plan. Behind all great ones is Stan. <laughs> oh, nice little, uh... Looking forward to doing business with you. Huh. That's today. If you mean what you promise, I'm sure this evening will be worth both our whiles. See you on the 13th, and please call me Stan. P.S. Got a good number for one of those British black cabs. My usual guy's indisposed, so to speak. Okay. I think we might not be the only ones here. Business connoisseur? He's a snob about business? Yuck. Do you play? Um, a little. Come on, play. Play. Oh. That is a creepy portrait. Look at that. Their faces are blacked out. All right, let's go back downstairs. This is kind of freaking me out. It's weird, right? Arriving at an abandoned mansion with no one to greet you? Yeah, it's a little odd. I like how you guys are just oh like, God. oh, let's look around. This is when some guy with a chainsaw rushes up from the basement, isn't it? <laughs> Don't worry. You've been invited here for a reason. Yeah, maybe we're invited to- I think it's so our host can wear our faces as leather masks. <sighs> I don't know, she looks pretty That's pissed super off. super comforting. Okay, she's still young there. Okay. I thought they were all young ladies on this portrait. I guess not. Okay. Locked from the other side. Oh, I already checked this. Hello? Stan the man, are you here? Ah! 
Ladies. Hello, hello. Welcome. Okay, he's a Hi. douche. Didn't exactly get explicit directions as to what to do once I got here. So <laughs> He has a I'm man bun. Same. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. And you would be? Stan the man. Maddie. Maddie. Beautiful name. It, short for Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah. Middle name Lexington? What? Midtown. The Big Apple? The, the city that never sleeps. Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate of men. Madison Avenue. Okay, got it. A fitting name for such a lovely lady. Uh, sh Stan is it Stan? Should I should I pretend to be interested? Uh, casual, apprehensive. Uh, uh, should we pretend we're into him? We might find like he'll let his guard down. Mm, let's let's use our 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 feminine wiles and pretend we like him. Stan, that wouldn't be short for Stanford, would it? <coughs> I see my reputation precedes me. Bruno Stanford the third. That's your beck and call. But oh yeah, we found it's only business to card. Stan. Stan the oh, man. Stan, this is Lynn Da Castle. I am such a huge fan of your work. I, I am I I'm at a loss for words. I am just humbled by your presence. Uh okay. Sure. Bruno Stanford the third. At your back end call. Only to call me Stan. Wow. He moved on from us sure. fast. <laughs> Truly an honor. <laughs> Truly. <sighs> wow. Awkward. I didn't realize you were like famous, famous. Famous construct. And I'm not. Oh no, there I would beg to differ. Your modesty is only outweighed by your incredible body of work. Living and dying by the light of the moon? Transcendent. Blood on the brain? Mandatory. Forgotten flesh. I don't even know where to begin. All right. Did okay. she make horror Miss movies? Castle, you are the quintessential countercultural cinematic icon of our times. I appreciate the kind words. I just didn't expect them here. Wow. So you're really the quintessential cult counter culture icon wait didn't you two come here together oh no i mean yeah we drove in together but only the last couple miles i had some car trouble <laughs> i see i'm sorry i thought that you were miss Cass. oh just damn nope, just me <laughs> wait should i be flattered or insulted by that oh well <laughs> i didn't mean i'm just flattered you think i have an assistant I'm sure if you did, she would not be nearly as charming as, as Miss Avenue. Nice Your save. Miss Avenue? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Only that we are at a loss at what to do in the absence of our host. Wherever they may be. I you guess you found the liquor, around. though. I mean, why not at this point? Maybe our host has left something out for us. What do you do, Stan? I, I like, won't bore you with all I like to stand in a corner. Fun. It involves money and fast cars and trading the epic of gilgamesh obviously oh obviously a bit of light bedtime reading oh wow i want to know what the note okay annotation read carefully norman so be close to what in kindu tells Gil gilgamesh he saw beyond hambaba's pleas for clemency recognizing sparing the demon would undo our hero's righteously won victory that only a violent demonstration would stir the watching gods there's no room for mercy in the pursuit of glory the heavens will not open for a champion that shows restraint oh is that like a clue or is this what uh she believes and why she created a serial killer Do, do, do. Don't know if I want to do acts of violence for no reason. Look at that pig. 
Look at him. He's so chunky. Look at that chunky boy. Okay. Um, there's a cupboard there. Let's see if there's anything else, like, just out before I do that. Oh! Repeat uh, portraits. Mm. Okay. Huh. Movie poster inside a cabinet. Interesting choice. Dare you enter the murder, murder mill. mill. Hey, either of you heard of murder mill? Holy shinobi. You're kidding, right? No. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Wait. This is one of yours? She does not it's look one enthused. Of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. It should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times. And each time, the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No, no, come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements, like... What? Who? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. And the CIA has got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute where they <gasps> use it for enhanced interrogation. We know that place. How do you know all this? I'm a fan. And it pays to know this kind of stuff. Yeah, that that's uh, one of the levels. I think it's doctors, the doctor's level. <clears throat> uh, is that supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am digging up the aspects. <laughs> I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other. I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah, yes. And speaking of needing attention... Ah, all dried up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Medicine. Would you also like a refreshment? Uh, it's just Maddie. Oh, my mistake, Maddie it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. And who are you? I call myself Augustine Lieber. Nice to meet you, Augustine Lieber. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. Uh, I mean, she could use that as an excuse to, like, drug us. But I don't want to, like, get her hackles up by being like, no, I don't want one. Hmm. Well, she really didn't seem like she wanted one. I, I guess I'll, I'll stick with reluctant. Unless you guys really want to see relaxed. I'm gonna wait like the 20 seconds. Seems like you got good reasoning there. Okay, so let's go with reluctant. So we don't want to get drugged. And, uh, she doesn't seem uh, to no, want to be that's okay. drinking. Are you sure? It's very good. It can confirm. Yeah, flying and drinking doesn't agree with me. Thanks, though. 
Why did that sound ominous? You refuse to drink off. She. Oh, that seemed kind of pissy. It's been quite a long journey for you that to opening come today. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll show you mine. Do you show me yours? Aren't we a bit eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. <laughs> Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but... I just happen to have one of the most sought-after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Huh. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur, allegedly. Should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one of a kind value. Not quite. I. I, I never knew what it was from. You told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it. I will keep the promises I made to you. We want to see this snuff All film. What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You are welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to finish discussing all in due course, Ms. Castle. Yeah, that's not, that's not suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Okay. We are so close. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. I had to find the right means to awaken him. Okay. You just don't get it, do you? You think we're weak? That we're nothing? You make me sick. <laughs> There's just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial you're imaginations can come up with but you'll never defeat our spirit and the power of friendship <laughs> no 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 my sister oh god oh, all I have to do is betray my own sister then you will let me go free another day god damn you god damn you for forcing me to make wow he's really overacting uh i'd rather die you fail to see what truly makes us human i'd rather die a thousand miserable deaths 
them betray someone I love. Yeah, the power of love. My answer is no. And there is nothing you can do to change my mind. All right, you alien scum. Do your worst. I can take it. does <laughs> oh that sounds like a chainsaw and cut how was that that was amazing really was it it wasn't like too much no way <sighs> I feel like maybe I oversold her a little. You gotta play to the cheap seats, I made. That's where the money is. Rad. How do we do, Linda? Was that a good one? Uh, let me check the gate. You can check the gate on these little Super 8s? Um, no, actually. The lens doesn't come off, so... Somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just Hi, Jaluva! Welcome! Seriously. And thank you for resubscribing! Yeah. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> so, are, are we good, or what? Yeah. I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um, well... Linda, you did get the blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? I got on his you face. Kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little... <laughs> I told you, I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting. Not just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. And there's no such thing as a wide close-up. Yeah, it's true. Or an extreme shot. <laughs> or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? You gotta distract the director. Chris, I trust Linda's judgment. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we made her happy with her acting. I think we could be a little bit like, hey, you need to, you need to relax just a bit. Of course, Chris, you're the director. But like, part of the job is working with people you trust and I trust Linda's judgment on the camera stuff, you know? Let's just shoot both versions and then we can see which way works better in the edit. And it'll be my way. Because I'm the director. Damn. <laughs> Hold still, let me clean you off. And we'll get it on this one. If we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Mm, worth you it. guys want me to leave? All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. Okay, sound speeds? Um, uh, camera speeds. All right, everybody settle. And hold. And hold. And action. I didn't realize she was our girlfriend. I just thought she was being a little bit... Uh-oh. And also, I hope you feel better, Jaluva. What do you think you're doing in here? Oh, hi, Mr. Green. Sheriff. Sheriff. Right. Sorry. How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? We were just in the middle of a take. A take? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And you are trespassing. He looks good for his age. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you, Miss Castle, and Miss 
Dixie. Miss Tammy D. Dixie. Miss Gordon. Miss Christine Gordon. I suggest you immediately vacate the premises. And you do not, under any circumstances, sit one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Ever. Oh, apologetic. He knows what he's talking about. Oh, man. Sir, we're really sorry. We, we didn't realize we were doing anything wrong. We'll clear out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi, May. We've got a movie to finish. I know, but we have to do what the sheriff says. He's the sheriff. I don't care who he is. He And we're very happy to do whatever the sheriff asks. And, uh, don't forget to clean up. Okay, so should we get frustrated with our girlfriend? Or just let's just be disappointed, because I think if we get frustrated, she'll get mad. Without a working camera or a location, I guess that's it then, huh? The camera just needs to be fixed. What the hell crawled up his ass? Nah, he's not so bad. Usually. We're not gonna do what he says, right? Really? We can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. Well, oh, I'm so sorry, Jaluva. You're going to another doctor. That's good, getting a, another opinion. Hopefully they'll actually, you know, check and <laughs> treat it. Yeah, 19 oh okay so it's not too long after all wrapped out sir now don't you try and pull any fast ones on me I'll be watching yes sir Damn, that's a lot of smoke. <laughs> oh, what a complete and utter disaster. Don't be so dramatic. It's not like we've got a real deadline. <sighs> Who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline? Gothic? I like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. So it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. <sighs> Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hills is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. And you still don't know anything. 
Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Breen doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh, yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would. Linda, tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. <sighs> so what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So... Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting like an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. Mm. What do you think he was up to? Who were the victims? Uh, hmm. I guess let's let's ask about the victims. Who were the victims? Just people, some from the town, some were never identified. The killings were random. There was no pattern. Like, how many are we talking? No one knows for sure. Because they never found the bodies. They found parts. Uh, <clears throat> I guess be excited. Do you know what this means? That we need a new location? No, dummy. That we already have the best location. How do you... Think about it. Our movie shot in a real-life murder mill? You can't buy that kind of publicity, Buster. Oh. People are actually going to want to see this thing. We're going to be, like, totally famous. Okay, sure. We might get some butts in seats, but like, what if they don't like what they see? Then we just gotta make sure these last couple of scenes are gonna blow the top of their heads off. Ah, uh, fuck! But not if our fucking camera is fucking broken! Ugh. Hey, why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah, the thing is, I kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. That no one's gonna wear? Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance. Kind of shit out of luck. What? You want to piss with me too? <laughs> hey, you okay? What's up? Nothing, it's fine. Mm. Didn't sound fine. As soon as Mom got sick, I dropped everything in my whole life in New York to come home and help. And all he does is act like I'm not doing enough. It's like he doesn't even care what I had to give up. I'm sure he's just worried about Mom. Yeah, so am I. That's why I'm here. The least he could do is try not to ground me like I'm 16. Totally. What is he thinking, right? Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. I get it. The last thing mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. That's true. Yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean it. I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. Do you have money? What? What? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm just... Speaking from the heart. Okay. What do you need from me? Um, well, we're making this movie, and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. What else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today, and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? Casual or nervous? Hmm. Well, it's 1980. 
Let me hold on a second. How much is twenty bucks in nineteen eighty? <laughs> Today's money. Uh, how much was a dollar in nineteen eighty? Oh, that is a lot of money. So $20 in 1980 is around uh, 76 bucks. Okay. It'd probably be pretty pricey to fix the the camera. I don't think it's going to be only 40 bucks. So yeah, I'm going to I'm going to be nervous and be like, "Yeah, we need 20." Just like to 20 bucks would probably cover it. 20 bucks. That ain't pocket change. That's how much camera repairs cost these days. Seriously? We're trying to make this thing good, and good don't come cheap. Hmm. Huh. You guys really needed to finish the film? Yeah. All right, I'm in. Who am nice. I to stand in the way of art? You won't regret it. Oh, and I get the garage tonight. What? Why? Because I need it. This is where all our editing stuff is. Well, that's the deal. Take it or leave it. Uh, all right, it's a deal. Try not to waste it. Don't worry. We'll put it to good use. Don't buy more t-shirts, Chris. a little uh wiggly i'm fine it's just uh, what is in that fake blood i think it's just mint flavored real blood oh it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact you washed it all off like right away right uh you don't think it's like actually poisonous do you it's a horror movie jaime anyone could go at any time <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rattle junk. I was kind of weirded out that they're going to go to a pharmacy call, to get it fixed. Uh, did you catch that relationship we haven't been told about yet? What, what relationship? The sister? Hmm. Pharmacy or curiosity shop? Well, I don't see how a pharmacy would have shit to fix a camera. But a curiosity shop might have, like, the parts. So I don't think they sell, like, camera equipment in a pharmacy. Um, Alright, I'm gonna do curiosity shop. I'm assuming, is the sister the mom? Oh, yeah. I certainly am of the curious other, of the other character? Regarding said shop, eh? For the yes, main girl? I get it. I'll lead the way. Oh yeah, it would have more going on. I'm thinking yeah. of like today pharmacies. I don't know any better. I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner is a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? Then we hit the jackpot. That I've lost the game. Check out the wares. Ooh, cameras. Ah, uh, these look like they've seen better days. They're not going to put the best ones in the window. We got to look inside. Ah, uh, too bad. So much for that. We can still have the drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? Hello. Hello. We saw the cameras. We're trying to find a replacement for this. 
Of course you are. Please. Come on inside. Now, let me see. I think I have something that may interest you, if I can find it out back. Please, make yourselves at home. Okay. And be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. Okay, that's not creepy. Make ourselves at home? Here? I don't know. I think it's kind of cozy. In a failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> Ooh, Huntress mask. Where did I put all oh, the cute bunny? And the uh, and the uh, singing. <laughs> oh, my collection. Dear Whoever Mr. owned this place before had some lousy luck. Dear Mr. Olson, this letter will serve to confirm the agreement regarding the sale of Ned's Nutty Nednacks. All relevant legal paperwork has been signed, and you should receive payment by month's end. My client also wanted to extend their sympathies to your recent hardships. If there is any lesson to be drawn from this, is that fire, theft, and casualty are not things that only happen to other people. Hopefully, moving on from Cedar Hills will give you some distance from the bereavement. After all, time is a great healer. Oh, after all. After all, time is a great healer. And perhaps one day you'll find yourself able to adopt another guy. Oh, no! Oh, that's that's upsetting. Aw. He lost his pet. We sell the Huntress mask. That's our collection. Oh, I don't know what that is, but it looks painful. That's um, that's the uh, wraith um weapon. So I guess we're just gonna get little nods to the other killers from the game. Oh, happy face. Looks like that one puppet from Winter Beast. <laughs> Who would want to watch this creep fest? Hmm. Does that look like anything? I mean, I don't I don't know. Does it kinda of look like the mansion we were in in the future? Okay, I can't tell. Oh wait. Does it look at the t oh it's it's TV. I see something over there. Why is there, why is there creepy music for this? Woo! Trapper! Imagine cuddling up to that at night. How cute. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I want one. Hmm. 
isn't anything. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's the Huntress Mask. Let's say, hypothetically, she does find a camera for us back there. What's the next move? We got everything we need to finish this sucker. Well, except the mill. Sheriff Green's gonna have his eyes glued to the front gates. No way we can get back in again. Hmm. Oh. <sighs> There's gotta be another way into the mill. We have to finish. We have to. Wait, she went through that door. I don't think we're supposed to open that. Okay, let's... Surely there's something that can help us amongst all this junk. She comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm getting, like, so bummed out. You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Whoa. But may I? Yeah, it's 20 I bucks. Insist. It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much are you asking for it? Just oh, 20. There's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? It says 20. 20 bucks. Mm. That seems reasonable or doubtful. I mean that's all of our money, so I'm wondering if we if we are doubtful, maybe we can get something extra. But I, I hate like being a jerk in these games. Uh, I'm gonna go doubtful and see if she goes lower. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Feels a little high for something so old. Hmm. It is quite a valuable piece, so I'm afraid I'm unable to lower the price, but perhaps I can sweeten the deal. Nice. One of a kind. Handmade. It's for luck. Is it a lens? Uh, let's be the light. I guess we could use it as a prop. Sure. It's a deal. Delightful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. A pocket Thanks mirror seems like it would come in handy. It was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. Yep, that's us. Uh, did you get your film out of that one, though? You just left your broken one there? I'm such a moron. I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to... Hold this. Be right back. Wait, Chris. We just spent all the money. Emergency sock quarter. Emergency sock quarter?
Ooh, we, can play. we can play with our quarter and not get the milk, I'm sure. No, well, mom told us to get milk. We're gonna go get milk. Another missing kid. Benny Baker. Hey, Chris. Robert! Well, wait, I thought you worked at the library. How would you know? Don't think I ever saw you come in. I got spies everywhere, man. So, Linda. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so we're about to close in like two minutes, so. Oh, right, yeah. Ring me up. <laughs> All right, that'll be 25 cents. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. Actually, you don't see any coin. It's volunteer hours. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. Didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics, too. Whatever I can get my hands on. You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie. Down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. No kidding. We could always use an extra hand if you're into that kind of thing. <sighs> Super into it but does my dad know you're going into the mill he watches that place like a hawk uh yeah we had a little run-in with him today but we're gonna sneak back in to shoot um shut up shut up shut up i would love to be involved involved in what hey dad yeah uh chris was just telling me about a um we're putting together a fundraiser to show movies at the library. <laughs> you just don't okay. that. <laughs> you need a ride home? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just get my bag. Awkward. Chris. I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. I just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. Mm. Proactive or defiant? Mm. I don't want him to, like, hate me. Let's, let's do this. I get it. They told me about Frank Stone. Gotta be a lot of demons in a place like that. When you spend enough time in my line of work, you realize every place has got its demons. You ready? Take care. Get you back into the mill without him knowing. Nice. Just say the word. Let's make a movie. <laughs> a 
I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional, and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise. A new timeline. Oh my goodness, who saw that? You didn't see that coming. <laughs> Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair, even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? That nice old lady is really the bad guy. Yep, oh, we're back in the mansion. Hmm. These walls have eyes! <clears throat> Whoa! Did we get drunk? Uh, let's be compassionate. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Guess I just dozed off a bit. Wait, what happened to Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Thousand, oh. Thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie? Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the best before, huh? Why are you so angry? It's not my film. I, I didn't, I just worked on it. Didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Curse film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. I know, right? She's like, I never so knew what this was. All of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made linda if they're not fakes yeah mine's not fake and all that stuff you said about it being cursed murderous rages cia interrogation total disassociation with reality because it's so rare only a few people know for sure so is it if augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. You're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Uh, well. First rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. And I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around, or want to peek behind the curtain? <laughs> hmm. I don't really like him. <laughs> But I'm sure we'll probably find um, information that might be useful. So go for it, my dude. What are you waiting for? Now, this is a real bold statement kind of room. You know what I mean? Oh, is this you the a gash, but not like watchers room? Kind of gash. Sounds like you didn't scout your mark as well as you thought. 
In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a rocket, not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills, if I were you. But rattling around up here, that could be mutually beneficial. Mm, let's be curious. Okay. Then tell me everything you know about Augustine. <laughs> Augustine Lieber, a leak collector of obscure cultural artifacts. She pretends to be all business, but plays a long game with the cards close to the vest. She's hard to pin down. And? Ever since I arrived, I've kept my eye on things. Observations, behavior, decor. I've been building a profile. Which is? Lieber is no ordinary collector. She likes the dark stuff. The really dark stuff. She'll stop at nothing to get it. Very impressive. Okay. Now it's your turn. My turn for what? Told you what I know, and now you go. Yeah, I didn't realize we were doing that. I think you pretty much covered it. Hey, uh, just catching up. So, what have you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. Not as young as you think. Let's keep looking around. Can't deny this place would make an incredible film location. Oh, look at him. I love your outfit, by the way. Huh. Well, thanks. Now that was a curious sound. Well, the shoes are Italian. And a belt. I got it cheap from a guy. He's got a guy who's got a pants guy. So I got these pants from his guy's guy. Had them tailored just right by the other guy I know, who also got me the blazer, which is like a super oh, it's Mitri. VIP club edition. <laughs> but you want to know a secret? Sure. I found the turtleneck in a secondhand shop. Scandalous. Right? <laughs> Don't tell me. Oh, you can be sure of that. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, no. No. I didn't. Ugh, fuck. Check out the other floors. Good thinking. Wait. H hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um, well, it's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie... What was your mom's name? Bose, or... Was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it... How did you know that? She financed our film. You look just like her. Did you know my mom? A long time ago. A whole other lifetime. Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest friends. Uncle Jaime, I, um... I never met him. I hadn't heard that Bunny had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Wow. Daddy, that's... It's quite sad. Very... touching. Why are you being a dick? I'm so sorry you had to go through that. It's never easy to lose someone you love. Thanks. Lucky for me, it wasn't my first rodeo. <sighs> Bonnie. I wish I'd stayed in touch with her. <clears throat> Weren't you wondering where both of our film strips came from? <laughs> I don't suppose you'd like to enlighten me. Of course. And? Well, I can't just tell you for free, can I? This kind of information is very valuable. What's your price? You know what? I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I still have a chance to go into that secret thing. <laughs>
Looks like practically every room in the house. But where is our host? In the no signal area? Secret pieces or anything? Okay. Like, am I supposed to see her in this? Let's go, guys. I can't interact with any of this stuff. Besides, oh, is there anything I missed? On no, I want to look at the tree. No, nope, guess not. statue. It's Billy again. Hmm, missing a piece, though. Hmm. Oh, is that the shit we're finding? The, like, the collectibles? Oh, no. I don't have a... Wow. Powerful resemblance in Augustine's family. Yeah, that, that or Augustine loves cosplay. I think they're all her. She's she's a cryptid. Th Sensationalist trash. Sam Green took down Frank Stone. I could write a better book than this. Fateful night. I'd sent one of my deputies over to check out in on things. My first choice, the flat foot was from out of state and a little green for my liking. But he had all but all he had to do was hold the line and report back on anything suspicious. But when Tommy called, I knew this is it. Standing before the furnace, I thought I'd step into a fiery depths of hell itself, and there was Stone, standing on the platform like a twisted gargoyle, a tiny bundle of innocence held in its death grip. I am not afraid to admit I was scared. I had only a moment to act before all was lost, so I drew my gun, took a deep breath, and made a silent prayer that my aim would strike, strike true. Stone's corpse wasn't even cold before a whole bunch of out-of-towners descended on Cedar Hills, trying to grab their piece of the action. Lawyers, reporters, rubberneckers, you name it. More than a few weren't satisfied with what they found. They wanted to make a conspiracy out of it. Said he must have had an accomplice to do what he did. Me? I don't buy it. Never had. That's because I know firsthand that he acted alone. Saw it with my own eyes. So to all those who claim otherwise, I say this. One monster was enough for Cedar Hills. Oh, I guess... Yeah. Uh, looks like there's an elevator. Maybe. Be, be sure there's. Oh, there's more stairs. Can this open? No. Whoa. Quite a piece. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. Oh, okay. Yeah? And what would you
would you do if it was you here instead of me? No Augustine way. has a uh, climbing the walls looking unique. for a way out. You sure would get a kick out of this place. And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Who are you talking to? Mm -hmm. uh, no, I I wasn't I could hear you. I was talking to my mom. To Bonnie. I was in Berlin, you know, at school when I heard she was sick. But it was my midterms and she said I should just come home when I finished. So I did. But by then it was too late. She died while I was over the Atlantic. It all happened so fast, it doesn't feel like she's gone. So I just kind of pretend like she isn't. She was a good talker. <laughs> yeah, she was. Hey, look at this. This was just last summer. I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. Well, she was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do, and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like Mom. Any good stories? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. We were just kids making a movie. Jaime, Chris, and me. Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but there's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Three years ago, that night, we were on our way home from picking up a new camera. Oh, we I'm liking it so far. House. It's interesting. The garage door was wide open, full of light, and the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction and right in the middle of it all was Bonnie I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves the only thing that mattered was that moment nothing else that was your mom Thank you. Hey, hey guys. Look. What? I don't see anything. Ah, there, right there. Oh my God, there's someone out there. Mm. Let's get serious. I have a feeling Augustine expected something like this might happen. She's got this place wired with enough cameras she could catch a mouse. Good security probably means we're pretty safe. Right, um, so... Do you think we should find Augustine? Give her a heads up? Even if you wanted to tell her, good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right, so if you were gonna have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. You've got a point. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay. Ooh, 
spooky. I ain't telling you, this is uh, going okay. Okay, I say let's stop here and I will continue this tomorrow. I'm liking it so far. I mean, it's still pretty slow. It seems like we're still like in the uh, beginning. Yes, I want to exit. Let me see. Six percent were like, nah, I'm not gonna tell you anything. No one's died yet, which is good. <laughs> Sam almost died. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, Insomnia is the same uh, people who made uh, Until Dawn. It's a collaboration with the behavior. So there's a Dead by Daylight connection. Oh yeah, Frank died, but you know, we wanted... No, he didn't. He's still... He came back from the... He's gonna come back from the dead, so technically, he's, he's not dead. <laughs> oh yeah. So I will uh, continue this tomorrow at 8.30. I'm liking it so far. Sorry I sucked at the skill checks in the beginning. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be more prepared tomorrow. Well, I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll speak to you all again real soon. Good night, everybody. Bye.